it looks like we made a wrong turn and as I mentioned we're like running low on battery so now we're just riding through the middle of a swamp at night oh my gosh everything's covered in mud where is civilization how did this go so wrong okay guys welcome to the channel right hope you're having a good day Ryan's going somewhere going to get a hair tie He's going to get a hair tie, of course. So but today, type of okay, trying to film an intro. Okay, today we're going to be going on a fun, chillax ride through a rather wealthy neighborhood. It's about, I think, 12 miles west of us. And we're going to take these two high-powered e-bikes through there. I've only been there one other time in my life, so I'm not familiar with the town. But hopefully we get some quality content and you guys enjoy. Also, when it comes to the weather, it was raining this morning and like super dense fog. It's kind of clearing up, but the road is still super wet. And I apologize in advance for any raindrops on the camera lens. Let's roll out, gents. Keep that onyx in the rear view mirror. Okay, it looks like we're getting close. We're on top of a hill, rich people like that, and the houses are starting to get bigger, but this is nowhere near the level of the rich neighborhood that I have in mind. My gosh, I need fenders so bad, there's so much water going up into my eyes from my tires. And I'm sure that means the GoPro is getting covered. So I'm gonna wipe it off in a second. Whoa, this is downhill. So we're going uh, that way? Oh, we're going this way? Oh, okay. And... Man, you suck as a navigator. Why am I relying on you? I'm positive with that one. White bridge? Okay, so e-bikes are way more resilient than people get them credit for in wet conditions. Uh, I would definitely recommend wiping down a bike after a ride like this. But the biggest thing to rainproof a bike is actually to get fenders because most of your wetness comes from below and your tires shooting up water into your face. Speaking of which, let me wipe down the GoPro lens just in case. Right, also, I have absolutely no idea where we are. <laughs> Okay guys, that is a Porsche ahead of us, and that means we are approaching the rich people. This isn't it by the way. I don't know where exactly the rich pocket is within the greater richer neighborhood, but it's somewhere. What's up homie? This isn't, this is definitely not it. Let's use the saddle like. Hold on. Um, yeah, I think we located the nice houses, guys. So let's go. And uh, my battery percentage, or my voltage, 77. You're at 77 volts? Yeah. I'm at 75.2. All right. Let's go. Okay, it's also getting dark out, but we're almost at the promised land. And we traveled quite a far distance here. So I'm getting concerned about range because we have to get back still. And I think we rode about 15 miles. So this is becoming a range test. Hopefully none of us die. Or, you know, bikes that is. The only man that pedals an onyx. Range anxiety is a bit. The houses are progressively getting bigger and more spread out. Oh, here we go. That one over there looks pretty big. Damn, look at that house. Nice. Okay, we're getting there. See, the funny thing is, that's a house. 
Nice. All right, let's keep this going. Nice, nice house. I want bigger. I want more wealth. Man. They have so much land. It's just like a private estate up there. Damn, you guys see that? I'll try to zoom in on the GoPro, but I know the image quality isn't great when you zoom in. <laughs> they may have a gate for the entrance. The Amazon trucks have to go up these long driveways. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that house. Woo wee! Damn, you guys see that place? Ooh, that's a photo right there. Ah, oh, they have trees blocking it. Man, that's nice. <laughs> this, is, this is all a private thing. Jeez, look at that house. Even the driveway going up to it, it's so majestic. Dude, this place is ridiculous. I know, it's all just like a single family home. Dude, you see, they got like three cars that we could see. They got a whole underpass there for the cars to come through. They got a camera guy looking right at us right now. He's like, what are these motherfuckers I doing? know, I know. So let's get going. <laughs> because they're gonna, private security is going to come out and um, take us away. Tesla, Audi's driving around. Yeah, I think we're taking this right up here. Damn, these people like to hide their house behind very intense landscaping. Ooh-wee! Big old houses. Can we go down this road? Private road. Ah! They have their own private roads, these houses. Wow. Dude, what is taking you so long? Well, dude, let me let me regale you, you with a story. You're the slowest man to no, ever live no, on an I onyx. Tried to... Oh, that house at the top of the hill. You see that house at the top of the hill? Jeez. We can't, we can't get in. I know. We, we can't even get in. Damn, those houses are nice too. All right, let's let them go. Nice BMW. Okay, now we're getting back to the peasants down in the village. So what did we learn? Well, when it comes to ultra-rich, they don't even want you to see their house. <laughs> They're so far in on their property, where I think the property is just massive, and they tuck their house behind all this kind of landscaping up on top of a hill, they have gates all around them. So unfortunately, we couldn't get like really awesome shots of their houses, but still a fun ride nonetheless, very mountainous. And we have quite a distance to, to get home, and I'm at like 75 volts and I mean we got at least like 12 miles to go I think like at least and it's becoming nighttime so this should be interesting you know the next turn? no yeah I couldn't find the name of that road on the map and then we take this side down how does it have you go yeah it has you take the same way I'm talking about taking nice right, so we got to go on Mount Airy Road 12 miles so it's 12 miles? So we have 12 miles to go. How many volts do you have? 12 miles to go, 73.4 volts. Let's see how it does out. All right, we go left. Yep. I'm with you. Sugar cheeks. It's a nice train station. That's how all the rich people get to New York City. Because New York is where all the people here work, by the way. That's why they're so rich. They commute to their fancy office job in the city, and then they come back to their massive estate on top of the hill overlooking the city. That's the economics of this place. All right, well, the sun is setting, and we have quite a long time to go, so I might end the vlog here. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed, I don't think the video came out the way I wanted it to, but if you liked it, go ahead and leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for all my future content. Yeah. So, Fuck you. It, it looks like we made a wrong turn, and as I mentioned, we're like running low on battery. So now we're just riding through the middle of a swamp at night on low battery, hoping to not get a flat. And I don't even know if this is a road. Yeah. yeah, so that's the bend up ahead. Okay, it looks like we're doing the right thing. Let the people see. <laughs> Can you guys see the mud on his back? <laughs> Where is civilization? I know, dude. I only see the first light out there. Yeah, I see one light. A light. So oh my god.
gosh. I keep getting water and mud hitting the back of my neck. How did this go so wrong? No, no, we keep going. We keep going that way. Thank God we don't have to go this way. I want to get a photo too, actually. Hold on. Gosh, the amount of mud on this bike right now. This is horrifying. My battery. All right, man, we got we to gotta push through. Let's get out of here. We've gone for like two hours. Dude, let's go. Two and a half hours. What's your battery at? 72. 72 volts? Yeah. I'm at 72 as well. Fence. Oh, this fence goes all the way across, it looks like. Are we going to be stuck in here? Oh, no. I think on the right side. Yeah, I see a gap. Automatic gate. Go, go. Watch out. Oh, Who the hell is this? I don't know. We're not stopping though. We go straight past. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is the road. This is White Bridge, we made it. Okay, the rest should be walking the park as long as our battery doesn't die. But we're both at 72 volts, so I think we're good. That was almost a... Uh... Yeah, what an adventure. <laughs> that was almost pretty risky. We made it. Ooh, wow. see, look how my bike is. It's covered in mud. It's pretty muddy. I know, it's tough to see. Oh, let me get in front of the lights here. Finally made it back. The bikes are pretty muddy now. Oh let's my see. God. Nick, let's see your front here. <laughs> Wow, Nick got covered. That was an adventure. All right, now let's see the behind. Give me that How bad is oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that bad, huh? Kind of looks like a Jackson Pollock in the back. That was fun. That, that was... was my, my butt. <laughs> my butt's nice and wet, right? Oh, my gosh, yo. That was something. All right, and that let's was see something. I'm pretty, pretty 